Today on number six with cheese, we're putting the iconic, see I use that word too readily available, but the iconic Croissantwich from Burger King, one of their staple breakfast items, against, or just compared to, their new Impossible Croissantwich. Ooh. We've had that Impossible Whopper alongside Ron Ely. So today, the breakfast version, they, they, did, they already did the uh, imitation cow, now the imitation pig. <laughs> Gross to think of it that way before you eat, but here we go. All right, Sixers, two regular croissant witches, two impossible croissant witches acquired in this bag, jump cut. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, this is the, uh, let's go with the regular one first. Okay. All right, open it up, boom, croissant thingy, boom, meat stuff, cheese stuff, egg stuff, done. Yeah, that's pretty all, all she wrote, really. Impossible, can we see a difference? Well, it looks a little different, but, you yeah. know, fairly similar. Doesn't look much different. Regular, fake. Regular, fake. You be the judge. <laughs> you now have that information in front of you with your eyes. These smell really good. Like, I can smell the butter yeah. from the croissant. Big fan of butter. Oh, yeah. Big fan. Like, Paula Dean level, dude. I'm Paula Dean, and today we're going to be making a very special sandwich. I call it butter sandwich. All right, guys, the science you wanted today. Finding out which of these is better. Mm. Uh, go with the original? Sure. Get that real pig in our mouths first. All right, regular croissant witch, sausage, egg, and cheese, Burger King. Cheers. Cheers. Very good. It's very good. All right. Impossible version, only at Burger King. Cheers. Cheers. Honestly, I like the taste better. Yeah, I mean, to be... To be completely honest, I didn't even taste the difference. I mean, these are just so good. Yeah, I like the impossible one better. It's got like better seasoning. Oh, what is it? I thought mine liked better because it cooked a little more. I want to taste the Mine seems a little cr crisped up no more. I'd imagine the seasoning was the same, but you, maybe not. I, yeah, I just, you're right though. Something is different. Okay, the meat by meat test. This is a regular sausage. So good. Damn, dude. Can you really even taste a difference? No. Like, I would, you'd have no idea. No. If you, There's no way. And somebody who says you'd know, no, you wouldn't. No. You have no idea. They've done the impossible. They did. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they really did. I mean, also, if you're a price person, they're doing a two for four right now, and you can mix and match. So you can get both of these for $4. Wow. That's pretty, go do this yourself. They did that with the Whopper too. They had their like seven dollar deal when we first did it. We got both. That's oh, dude, yeah, go right. do that. That's so be a scientist. Mm -hmm. You're not doing anything else. I mean, you're watching us on YouTube. Like your parents, they want you to be a scientist. Go be a scientist. What is science? You don't know. That's fine. That is delicious. Damn, dude. These are also. This might be the wrong word. I'm just gonna go with it. I think these sandwiches are underrated. I don't feel like people talk about the croissant witch a ton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are great. Holy smokes. I think I like this better than like McDonald's McMuffins. Yeah, dude. This is probably my favorite breakfast sandwich, dude. The croissant is the best way to go. Mm. That flaky crust, dude, it's oh, so good. You know one of my best friends, Cash? Mm -hmm. You guys are I similar. I yelled him out the window the other day. <laughs> yeah. You guys are similar in the fact that you both really told me that Burger King's legit for a long time. Mm -hmm. We went to college together. He was always saying that Burger King's breakfast is the best. Yeah. He was like, I don't know what people are doing sleeping on it, dude. And I, I was always like, no way, you're an idiot. I just keep being proven wrong. Like, it's so good. It's so good. This is fantastic. $2 a sandwich? Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty legit. Now I'm gonna do the possible. Sauce it up! I'm gonna baby. use a sauce. You can buy this. I mean, literally, you can have some of this, and you can put it on Burger King. I want a little bit on my impossible This is one. gonna be so good, dude. Right here? Yes, please. Thank you, sir. This is gonna be good. This is such a good breakfast sauce. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get out of town! Get out of here! I'm just holding this like Vanna White. Um, what am I talking about? She doesn't hold things. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, I told Sean this, but I gotta tell you guys this. Yeah, dude. Me and Kylie saw the craziest thing in our life the other day, like a week ago. 
this dude got stabbed across the street from our house. We were bringing the dog home from a walk, and we saw this guy at the Julasco across from our house punching through windows. He apparently dove through there, started punching random people in the face, got stabbed at some point, was trying to steal sushi, I guess, and then ended up going to the hospital. I don't know, it was absolute craziness, uh, but I made a vlog for it if you want to check it out. I have no idea what's going on, but there's a guy at Jewel. We were just taking the dog for a walk. He was freaking out. He's covered in blood, and he's like breaking a bunch of glass. There he just walked. Oh, look at the shirt. Holy shit. Look at this, like, covered in blood. Uh, it's on, and Sean's in that vlog, it's actually, so, too. Yeah, but this dude, he did such a good job storytelling this vlog. Like, go watch it. It's so fun. It was wild. I literally, Kylie goes, call 911. I go, no, I'm going to get my camera. You call him. Content first. <laughs> and I'm running to get my camera. She's like, Stay in, you gotta, we gotta stay inside. I go, I am not, I am going to get film of this. Yeah, 100%. Me and Kyle were talking about, it's top three craziest things I've ever seen. In I mean, truly the footage you put in there, I was like, you told me about it. And I was like, I get what you're, and then I watched it and I was like, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh no, that's severely disturbing. <laughs> that was so crazy. I liked that even in that vlog you had a, all right, some of this footage may be a little disturbing. I was like, ooh, I'm watching like an actual documentary. Yeah, right dude, and it was. It's yeah, gross. It's if you so don't like gross. blood, definitely don't watch the full video. 100%. The last minute or so has some gruesome amounts of blood in it. Yeah. <laughs> you came here for a croissant witch review and you got cultured, dude. <laughs> Your uh, vlog channel's really kicking too. Like, you've been putting out constant, uh, consistent content during quarantine. Trying to, tell yeah. some dumb stories, you know? Just your life. I gotta stop eating. I know, I know, I know. Wow, I can't even get over how that, man. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I mean, impossible. I, yeah. I already punned it once. Yeah. I'm not gonna pun it again, but it's pun worthy, dude. So in the Corey and Sean archive of impossible foods, we've done White Castle's version, we've done Burger King's version, and now we've done Burger King's pork version. And we've done, and we've done, um, Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, uh, what's the other company? Um, Impossible and Beyond, Beyond yeah. Meat. Beyond from Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. We're like we're like the meatless boys. Yeah, do you remember when uh, White Castle did, they were trying to go meatless and they did that gross, disgusting black bean burger? <laughs> yeah, they did the veggie burger and the black bean burger and they both looked like dusty piles of dust. They were so that, gross. That you'd find under a couch when you, you know how like you normally, you'll vacuum? but the deep clean is when you pick up the couch the whole way yeah. and vacuum once a year, that's then. That's what- <laughs> Yeah, it looked like it was just like a dog fur and old Cheerios uh -huh. mushed together in a- Couple kernels a of corn. Mound. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was so nasty, dude. We've come a long the, way. Yeah, though, the, the, oh, the <laughs> science, the science that's gotten us to this point where I'm sitting there eating this croissant, which, and I can't tell that this was made in a lab, has zero pig in it. And the same price as meat. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I mean, the how far this channel's come, and in just the rest, the fast food world in three, four years has just <laughs> blown up. There's so much going on. Research, hypotheses, Bunsen burners, test tubes. Fl I'm done. All right, before I uh, sound any dumber, let's do a shout out. Vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a vlog channel. A little bit slow right now with quarantine. We're struggling to tell some stories about the city when the city's mostly shut down. Yeah. But believe you me, it's an awesome channel and you're gonna wanna check it out and subscribe. It's Corey and Sean. If you go to youtube.com forward slash Corey and Sean, we already have a plethora of awesome videos up there. Go check it out. As the world starts to open back up, I can promise you we're gonna get back out there and keep putting out awesome videos. Our most recent one, um, we did a quarantine style one where we showed everybody how they can play Zoom Pong. So if you're still cramped up in your apartment and you wanna see how you can play fun drinking games with your friends using the World Wide Web, check out that video. It's super, super, super awesome. Here's a quick clip from it. There it is, back left. You made another one? Oh yeah, we got the video footage to prove it, my friend, bam. Bro, I think I might uh, actually lose function in my liver before I, I make a cup. Before you drink, I'm going to lose complete function in my liver. You're definitely puking in your printer tonight. 100%. Alright, check it out. Make sure you subscribe. Corey and Sean on YouTube. It's super awesome and super fun. Alright, is the impossible croissant witch worth it or not worth it? Two for four. It's not real meat. Here we go.
Why don't Eric sitting over there? Should we use him? I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Eric, whoa, what's up, dude? Eric McCluskey, drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. All right, on the count of three, worth it, not worth it. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, worth it. Obviously. Yeah, that was so. I mean, the, literally, I thought it tasted better. Me, you, and yeah. Especially if the price is the same, and I'm saving a little tiny piggy, bro. I like little piggies, and I want all my pigs to go to bacon if possible. I know that that's not how you can't make the full b body of a pig turn into bacon meat, but, but you, let a man dream, to, you know? Though. Let you're, a man you're dream. You're a good dude, you yeah. want to. You know? Um, yeah, shout out to Wilbur, dude, from Charlotte's Web. Wilbur! Some pig! Uh, yeah, that's totally worth it, dude. The price is awesome, too. Burger King, killing it lately. And if you're Corey and Cash, killing it always. Yeah. Killing it softly. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Brand new video, local spot, meatball sub. Yeah. Or you, you, you lost I, your confidence. I can't. We need to get Sean got his groove back. Uh, hello at number 6 with cheesecom Forge your resumes to Corey. Looking for that new host. Gonna be great for him. Much smarter than I. Yeah, I'm gonna be definitely doing an IQ test or mm -hmm. whatever. What's that thing in the NFL they make you take? The, some weird Lizdick test or some weird crap. I don't know. Yeah. But I gotta somehow figure out how to get a smart guy up in here because I can't be the only genius around these parts. Dude, you know what I'm saying? I had a guess about what it was called, but yeah. I'm so worried about it being wrong that I'm not even gonna say it. Should be, bro. I do want to take the Rorschach test, though. Is that, that where the, you look isn't at? Isn't that the ink blots? The ink blots. I see. Yeah. I see a lot of ghosts. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna. I literally am gonna go try to find a new personality. We'll see you guys. <laughs>